New at six, uh, you, you won't be seeing any new development in Westport for at least six months. That's because last week the city council approved a six-month suspension. It has developers concerned about major projects already in the works. A 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed takes us inside the development debate. Moments like these are what Steve Beninati loves most about Westport. It's one of the few places there is where people walk around and you can talk and visit. He's worried major development projects in the neighborhood will change that, like the Opus Group's plans to build 256 apartments at the corner of Broadway and Westport. And they do all these big building projects, it's going to be too congested. To address concerns like his, the city council decided not to approve any new plans or rezoning requests in Westport until March. In the meantime, the city, along with residents and neighborhood groups, will work together to develop a vision for Westport's future. The development debate in Westport is nothing new, but this latest six-month freeze is concerning to people like Steve Shields, who's trying to develop this building. The language is gray enough, you know, it's uncertain. Steve Shields is the CEO of Action Pack Development, one of the groups behind the proposed Westport Terrace at Manor Square. It includes apartments and a hotel all surrounding Char Bar. I really value open, transparent processes, and I think this suspension or the moratorium or whatever it's currently being called really needed to be much more open. While projects like his that already have the green light are supposed to be safe from the suspension, he's not completely convinced. Proof will be in the pudding, but we're optimistic. In Westport, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. Well, the city is coming up with $45,000 to help with the planning process. The Westport Regional Business League will also raise some money to support the effort.